In this video, we are going to show you how to set up and align your ETX Observer Telescope. You'll find that this telescope system has all you need to explore the universe. Mead's concept was to create a telescope that would be simple enough for anyone to use, yet capable enough for the experienced amateur to stretch their knowledge and skills. First, let's go over what accessories are included with the ETX Observer and what sizes are available. The ETX comes in three different apertures, an 80mm refractor, and a 90mm and 125mm Maxutov Cassegrain. The ETX Observer Series comes with a sturdy tripod, an OTA in mount, an AudioStar handbox. These telescopes also come with accessories including two 1.25 inch eyepieces, a red dot viewfinder, and a bubble level compass. In addition to these accessories, the ETX 80mm includes a 45 degree roof prism, a removable dew shield, and a backpack to carry all of your stuff in while the ETX-90 includes a hard carry case for the mount, optical tube and accessories, and a tripod bag. Please note that the ETX-80 differs from the 90 and 125 in a few ways. As a result, there are subtle differences when setting up the tripods and installing the telescope mount. Follow the steps noting when there are differences between the two telescope models and proceed accordingly. You want to set the telescope up in a large open area where you can see lots of sky. Make sure the ground is stable and is approximately level. Stand the tripod vertically with the tripod feet down and grasp two of the tripod legs and gently pull the legs apart to a fully open position. ETX-80 users may need to loosen the black lock knob located on the center shaft of the tripod. Rotate counterclockwise to loosen if needed. Loosen the leg lock on each leg and extend each leg segment until the top of the tripod is level and at the desired height. Relock the leg lock latches to secure each leg segment. ETX-80 users will need to tighten the center column lock knob by rotating it clockwise until firm. For ETX-90 and 125 users, tighten the locks to a firm fill only. Do not over tighten. Remove the end nut from the spreader shaft and slide the spreader in between the telescope legs. Attach the end nut and hand tighten until the telescope legs are held snugly in the most spread position. Position the tripod where you want the telescope to be and check that the top of the tripod is approximately level. Use the included bubble level compass to level the tripod head. For the ETX-80, line up the bolts over the key-like holes on the top of the tripod and slide the bolts into the holes. Rotate the telescope counterclockwise until the bolts fit into the hole base. Then, reach under the tripod base and tighten the bolts to a firm feel. On the ETX-90 and 125 tripod, loosen the latitude control knob and lift up the tilt plate so that you can easily access the underside of the plate. Relock the latitude control knob so the assembly doesn't slip while you're attaching the telescope. Line up the ETX-90 or 125 with the mounting holes on the base of the telescope with the tripod attachment knobs. Thread both attachment knobs into the base of the telescope and tighten to a firm fill only. Unlock the latitude control knobs and lower the tilt plate until it is level. Then lock the latitude control knob. Next, tighten the vertical and horizontal locks to a firm fill only. Do not over tighten. These locks engage the telescope motors so the ETX can be moved using the AudioStar hand controller. With the Telescope Master power switch in the off position, plug one end into the HBX port of the control panel and plug the other end into the handbox port on the AudioStar handbox. Place the 26mm eyepiece into the eyepiece holder on the telescope and tighten the attachment thumb screw to a firm feel only. Slide the red dot viewfinder into the slotted holder on the top surface of the telescope and tighten the attachment thumb screw to a firm feel only. To power your telescope, lift the battery cover located in between the mount fork arms. Gently remove the battery holder from the compartment so you don't accidentally pull out the wires attached to the holder. Insert six user supplied AA batteries into the holder. Your telescope is now fully assembled and ready to be aligned. To automatically track and locate objects in the night sky, the ETX must first be aligned on the sky. It is best to set up the tripod in twilight or before sunset the first time you use the ETX. Once the ETX is fully assembled, you will first need to initialize the AudioStar the first time using the telescope. When the telescope powers on, the AudioStar keypad will beep and light up. Press 0 to align or mode for menu displays. You can use the arrow keys to move the telescope up, down, right or left or you can press zero to begin easy alignment. You will then need to set your location, time, and select the telescope model. 
Once this is done, AudioStar initialization is now complete and will enter the easy alignment routine. There are multiple ways to align your telescope, but the two-star alignment procedure is the easiest and fastest way to locate objects with AudioStar's go-to capabilities. AudioStar automatically chooses two stars to align upon. When the telescope slews to the first star for alignment, it may not appear in the field of view in the eyepiece. If you're not familiar with objects in the night sky, the rule of thumb is that the alignment star is usually the brightest star in the area of the sky. When you view an alignment star in the viewfinder, it stands out dramatically from the rest of the stars in that portion of the sky. While looking through the red dot viewfinder, use the arrow keys to move the telescope to place the red dot on top of the brightest nearby star. Now look through the eyepiece and use the arrow keys to move the star to the center of the eyepiece field. Press Enter. If that area of the sky is obscured by an object, you can prompt AudioStar to choose an alternate star by pressing either one of the two scroll keys. Repeat procedure for the second alignment star. When the procedure is performed correctly, alignment successful displays. If AudioStar does not display this message, perform this procedure again. You have now successfully set up and aligned your ETX Observer Telescope. With the ETX's advanced set of features, you have plenty of room to learn and expand your interest in astronomy and not outgrow your telescope. Whether you are hiking, camping, or in the backyard, the ETX Observer models are made for observing anytime, anywhere. With go-to and tracking capabilities, these are the ultimate portable computerized telescopes.